think we're seeing a trend towards domestic outsourcing solutions because very simply clients are looking for more from their outsourced service providers. When the global financial crisis became a reality, uh, there was a very aggressive short-term focus on cost cutting and the result of that was there was extensive offshoring projects to achieve most immediate cost savings. What we're seeing now is while there's not a burgeoning economic recovery afoot, we are seeing a sense of economic stability and more and more of our clients are now focusing more on the strategy within their decisions rather than a short-term cost cutting and that's driving them towards more domestic solutions to get more innovation and more efficiency. I think the industry in general is starting to get a better handle on what the key benefits of domestic outsourcing are. In the first instance it eliminates and mitigates an awful lot of the risks of an offshoring solution. It eliminates language barriers, cultural barriers, time zone issues. It makes it much easier to have face-to-face -face time and any of us that have been in complex projects know that that face-to-face -face time is critical to making sure everybody understands what the destination of a project is. On top of that I think Domestic solutions offer more than just a factory approach churning through tasks. They're a consultative and interactive part of the wider change function. And clients are seeing that that's bringing innovation, not simply in delivering the solution itself, but also out with the scope of that solution and the way it interacts and plays a wider role within the change function. And that interactive element is becoming ever more important as more and more of our clients move towards an agile methodology and project delivery. In the past, people within the industry and have perceived that it's more expensive to pursue a domestic outsourcing solution as opposed to offshoring. Um, analysts now within the industry have demonstrated that over the term of a typical outsourcing contract, it's actually cheaper to go the domestic route because the costs are more predictable. There's less of a shock cost when you have to bring offshore uh, individuals onshore to deal with live incidents or particularly challenging projects. And as well as that, the interactive approach to a domestic solution creates much more efficiency and innovation and clients are now seeing that there's an inherent value to the increased speed to market and delivery of projects that domestic outsourcing brings. I think the future of the domestic outsourcing marketplace is very positive. There's considerable political support for this market simply because we're bringing jobs back into the UK at a time when we need them most. I think as well the economic stability that exists within the marketplace just now is meaning that clients are taking a more strategic focus on their decision making. They're appraising what's best over the next three to five years instead of simply what's best for the next six to nine months. Um, I think as well the role of technology has changed. Technology is far more important in the financial services industry now. It's the first point of customer contact, whether through the internet or mobile technology. And where we've seen recent system failures within the banking sector, for example, that has a devastating impact on the bank's brand and also the cost to the bank um, that's unforeseen. So the result is having a solution that's outsourced that has the expertise and quick reaction times so that when an incident is encountered, the reaction times are much more quick and the expertise is deployed much more effectively. Um, banks and insurance companies are seeing a, an inherent value to that. I think as well, you know, business reaches a stage where it's about the management of risk and the quality of information is critical to making good quality decisions and managing that risk and developing strategy for the future. And domestic outsourcing very simply provides a better quality of information. So I think what we can expect is for this trend to continue and for domestic outsourcing to be something that the market continues to look at.